come in. Welcome. I'm E.G. Marshall. This is a story of a woman's flight from fear. But who can outrun the demons of his own imagination? Like one that on a lonesome road doth walk in fear and dread, and having once turned round, walks on and turns no more his head, because he knows a frightful fiend doth close behind him tread. The poet Coleridge died many years before the dancer Rodlova was born. Yet in those few lines, he captured the terror that draws the color from her lips and sets her heart pounding. Yes? Are you Vera Radlova? Yes, I am. Who is this? Stay away from the theater tonight. Who is this? A friend. Don't go to the theater. Don't dance tonight. How did you get this number? Who are you? Never mind my name. Just listen to what I say. This is your last warning. You cannot frighten me. I'm not trying to frighten you. I'm trying to save you. You must do as I say. Your life depends on it. Why do you persecute me? What have I done to you? You must not dance tonight. It will mean death. Our mystery drama, River of Hades, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Mary Jane Higby and stars Marion Seldes. It is sponsored in part by Buick Motor Division. I'll be back shortly with Act One. As I said, this is a story of flight. Flight from fear. And it begins, appropriately enough, with an airplane circling the sky above Manhattan in the monotony of a holding pattern. Suddenly, it drops swiftly away to the ground, skims along the runway, and comes to a roaring halt. In the airport terminal, a solitary man sits in a small lounge marked private. A commotion in the hall outside brings him quickly to his feet. This is ridiculous. I am Maximilian Bomber. I must get through. David, David, are you in there? I'm sorry, Max. Oh, this fool would not let me in. It's all right, officer. It's Maximilian Bomber. I'll vouch for him. It's a good thing you're here, David. <laughs> I'm sorry, Max. I asked the airline for tight security, and I got it. But during plenty of time, a plane just landed. Yes, so I understand. That guard would not even let a messenger deliver these flowers. So I offered to deliver them for the poor chap. Then I could not get in myself. Someone from the airline is going to take her off the plane and straight to immigration. And they'll bring her here, and we'll get her out. <sighs> Breaks my heart. But I think of the front page coverage we're giving up. Biggest story of the week. Yes, but we cannot risk her life at a press interview in a crowded airport. Oh, uh, by the way, David, uh, we will not say anything to her about the letters. You mean you're not going to tell her? Well, what good would it do? If my life were in danger, I'd want to know about it. She should be warned. Oh, come now, what does it add up to? A, a few nasty letters from some crackpot. Max! That's all that's needed. One crackpot and a gun. She's not to know, and that's final. She'll have protection. There's nearly half a million tied up in this ballet company. I'm not taking any chances with my premier ballerina. Does Alex know? About the letters I've been getting? Of course. Won't he tell her? Aren't they friends? Well, they dance together in Paris, so I suppose they are friends. I told Alex not to meet her here. He's too easy to spot in a crowd. A smart reporter might follow him. Here she is. Ah, Miss Radlova. Welcome to America. Mr. Bova, a pleasure to see you <laughs> once again. Uh, may I present my friend, uh, David Mark? I am enchanted. Oh, <laughs> no, you do not say that, do you? Pleased. I am pleased to meet you. I uh, speak English badly. <laughs> oh, not at all. Uh, David is press agent for our ballet company. We're going to take you immediately to your hotel. You'll be able to get a good rest... Then tomorrow, you will meet the newspaper people. Is that satisfactory? That is perfect. Ah, good. Uh, then we'll be getting right along. Oh, we're forgetting the flowers. White roses. Oh, my favorites. Oh, thank you. They're not a I... gift from us, I'm afraid. We are only messenger boys. Oh, well, then, do, do you mind? May I open the card? Of course. 
Oh, I love what... Oh, no. No, not here. Not in America, too. What is it? Miss Radlova? Mr. Bonner. Mr. Mr. Here, here, Bonner. sit down. Oh, they are here, too. They have followed me. She's fainting. Oh. David, don't let her fall. This is a warning. Traitor. Go back to your own country. We don't want your kind here. Terrible, is it not? It's a shock to read such a card. I, I know. Just remember, you're absolutely safe in this hotel. And Max is taking the matter up with the police right now. I am strong. I can face danger. But these um, 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 anonymous letters frighten me. Letters? You've had threats like this before? Oh, yes, in Paris. They started soon after I asked for asylum from the French government. Have you any idea who's behind it? In my country, there are people who do not like artists to leave permanently. Why did you? Political reasons? Oh, no, no. I'm not a political person. I wanted only to be free to dance as I choose. Not to be told what I must dance and what is forbidden. I can understand that. Your luggage has arrived, Miss Revolver. Shall I unpack it? Uh, the small bag only, thank you. And uh, would you see who that is, please? Oh, I'll get it. It'll be Max. Hello, David. Uh, the police had everything well in hand. Uh, they'll want to talk to you later, Miss Radlova. The police? A uh, mere formality. We're placing a guard at your door around the clock. Now, two more pleasant things. How do you like this suite? It is most uh, uh, luxurious. <laughs> but so high, it is an eagle's nest. <laughs> <laughs> then, if everything is satisfactory, we will leave you so you may rest. Uh, your maid, uh, Mary, I think her name is, will have a room next to your bedroom. There's a connecting door. If you wish anything, you have only to call her. Oh, you are most kind. You know, of course, that we start rehearsal Tuesday for the ballet Lethe. No, uh, Lethe, uh, Mr. Bonner, I, uh, I cannot dance Lethe. And why not? It's, um, oh, how do you say, uh, bad luck. Lisi always brings a tragedy. No, I cannot dance that role. Not now. We have advertised it. Oh, you agreed in Paris. But the terrible things had not happened then. Oh, excuse me, the bag you want me to open is locked, Miss Redliver. Oh, um, of course. I will get the keys. Uh, please excuse me. And you can open this lock. What? Not dance, Lisi? Why, it would ruin me. Oh, I see. I'm in for a series of tantrums. Oh, yes, I can see it coming. I tell you, artists are children. That's no child. That's a woman. A terrified woman. Leafy he brings tragedy. It's nonsense. It brought the world to her feet. Leafy is the river of Hades, isn't it? Yes. So? The river of death? No, no. Oblivion. Forgetfulness. The souls drink of leafy stream and straightway forget their former lives. I have a hunch Rodlova isn't going to be allowed to forget. Max. Yes? That maid. Is she one of the hotel staff? No. No, I engaged her myself. Why? There's something about her. Gentlemen, I have a confession. I um, don't like this uh, air conditioning. Would you mind to open a window? Of course, allow me. Ah, beautiful view. All Manhattan at your feet. The street so far below. People like swarming in. In a nightmare. Oh, come, my dear. One of them will soon come bearing a sting. Now, now. They have no wings. You are safe up here on the 38th floor. A princess in her tower. I forgot to give you this letter, Miss Radlova. It arrived before you did. Thank you. Miss Radlova, don't. Don't what? Oh, oh, no. No, don't open it. Give it to me. And Miss uh, uh, Mary. Yes? Never. Never, under any circumstances, open a letter or package that comes to this suite. It might contain a... An explosive? Yes. I'll get this one out of here. <sighs> all right, that, that will be all. Thank you, Mary. Yes, sir. Now, my dear Miss Rodlover, where were we? You were saying how safe is the princess in her tower. <laughs> but when they decide to kill me, they will find a way. New York City never sleeps. A steady drone, unlike the sound of any other city in the world, forever rises from her lighted streets. 
To the newly arrived Vera Radlova, lying tense and restless in the dark hotel bedroom, it is an alien sound, cold, menacing. A fire engine, suddenly screaming through the night, draws her swiftly from her bed to the open window. She leans out and looks down, unaware of the door behind her as it quietly opens. It's a long way down, Miss Radlova. Yes. Oh, let go of me. What are you doing here, Miss Radlova? I Get away from me. I'm not going to harm you. Let me go. Take your hands off me. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I heard you moving around. I wanted to be sure you were all right. Never come up behind me like that. Never touch me. Oh, you were leaning out so far. I, I was afraid you Never were... do that again. It was foolish, but you were so despondent this evening. I am all right. Of course. Good night, Miss Radlova. Good night. Mary? Yes? You are very strong for a woman. You held me quite easily. Yes, I am very strong. Good night. Sleep well. Oh, sleep? <laughs> I think I shall never sleep again. Oh, well, I have some sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? Very mild. I could give you one. No, thank you. I don't... What's that? No, no, no. It's just the telephone. Strange at this hour. Shall I answer it? Yes, please do. Hello? Oh. Well, just a minute. The operator says Mr. Bomer is on the wire. It's an emergency. Will you take the call? An emergency? Well, of course. Hello, operator? Yes, you may put the call through. Here you are. Hello, Mr. Bomer. What? What, what are you saying? Who are you? No, no, no. I won't listen. <laughs> Miss Radlover, what is it? Are you ill? You're so pale. It... It was not Mr. Bomer. Not Mr. Bomer? Who was it? I don't know. Someone who said... Someone who said they would kill me. Oh. Well, it's, it's just some crank trying to frighten you. Uh, Miss Radlover, I will see to it that you don't get any more calls of this kind. Oh, I pray you, please. Hello, Operator. No more calls are to be put through to the suite, no matter who they say they are. Miss Radlova must not be disturbed. Oh, on second thought, operator, if any more calls come, switch them to my room. Yes, room 3814. Oh, this is Miss Radlova's maid. Now, she's not to be disturbed. She is to be completely cut off. Yes, thank you. Cut off? Well, to be sure you get a good night's rest. Now, come on, take this pill. You are most kind, not at all. That's what I'm here for. This is a um, sleeping pill. Yes. Very mild. I never take pills. Well, neither do I as a rule, but under the circumstances, you really... never take pills yourself? Oh, not often. And how do you happen to have these pills with you? In your dressing gown? Oh, well, I... I... Why do you want to give one to me? Well, if you can't... Who are you? Mr. Bomer said you might be restless. He... he gave me the pill. You are lying. Get out of my room. Yes, Miss Rabbit. Get out! And you are going to stay out. Don't lock the door! Don't! Miss Radlova! Miss Radlova! <laughs> fear, everything rustles. Sophocles made that observation nearly 2,500 years ago. It is true that fear breeds suspicion, and suspicion, they say, has a hundred eyes. It turns in all directions, sensing danger from every quarter, except the right one. I'll return in a moment with Act Two. Art is, of itself, a struggle for freedom of expression, an effort to pierce the barriers that separate us one from the other and convey the image of a truth, a desire. And it is the nature of the artist to rebel against whatever would limit his work. It is this that has driven the renowned ballerina Radlova to leave her homeland and seek asylum in the West. But perhaps she has not counted the cost of becoming a stranger in a strange land, nor measured the hatred that might follow her flight. Now,
Now, as the early morning sun sends its rays into her locked hotel room, she turns to the only source she knows for help. Hello? I wish to speak to Alexis Cole, please. This is Alexis Cole. Oh, Alexis. I should not uh, call you so early. Sarah, my dear, how are you? I must see you. I uh, am surrounded by enemies. What? You are the only friend I have. I don't understand. What's going on? Of course, if you need me. I'll be right over. Oh, no, you won't. Grace, shut up. Last night, a man telephoned. Uh, they are going to kill me. I'll be right there. Don't be frightened. But don't open your door to anyone you don't know. We'll see that you're all right. Goodbye. Oh, that rat of a woman. Grace, try to be sensible for once. She's been getting menacing phone calls, letters. Oh, now I've heard everything. She's trying to hog all the publicity. The press, she'll get out of this. Huh, I can see the headlines now. Dancer's life threatened, guarded night and day. Don't be a fool. Well, just look at this morning's paper. Radlover taken ill at airport. A publicity stunt. That woman's strong as an ox. Anybody can get sick. Oh, wake up. She's using you. Don't start that again. She got you to talk Max into bringing her to this country. That's not true. Oh, you were his top attraction. You and Miranda... Until she weaseled her way in. Rod is the most famous ballerina in the world. Of course Max hired her. Every manager in Europe was bidding for her. Well, I know what went on in Paris between you two. Who's feeding you those lies? I have friends. Miranda again. That woman hates every other ballerina. She's a jealous, bitter, Look, vindic... I've sat through three of your sordid affairs. I'm not sitting still for this one. Let me tell you something. Rod Lover's a good ten years younger than you are. You're getting on toward middle age. Shut up. When she's taken what she wants out of you, she'll throw you away like a squeezed lemon. Stop needling me, Grace. The minute she arrives, she whistles. And you, you go running. I'm getting out of here. And you're not going to that woman. You won't stop me. What are you trying to do? Break my arm. I'm trying to keep from killing you. I might have known. You're drunk. That's a lie. You're a mess. An ugly, drunken mess. I'm sick of you. Alex, I'm warning you. She won't get away with this. She, she won't get away with it. Alexis, take me away from this place. I'm afraid to walk by an open window. I'm afraid to answer the telephone. Afraid even to eat. I, I cannot live like this. I should think not. Does Max know? Oh, yes, yes. He called the police. They placed a guard at the door. Well, that ought to reassure you. But they don't understand how clever, how uh, ruthless these people can be. Oh, Alexis, you must help me, please. No, no, nothing bad's going to happen to you. Alex will take care of you. No, no, do not treat me like a child. I do not need comfort. I need help. And there's no one I can trust but you. You can trust Max. Can I? Of course. You're terribly important to him. You can certainly move to another hotel if you wish. I, I'll speak to Max about it, but right now, you say you've had no breakfast? No, that maid brought coffee and rolls, but I was too frightened to eat. Well, silly, a dancer must eat. We start rehearsal Tuesday. Well, you're right, of course. I, I will ask Mary to bring the tray in here. Mary, would you please bring the breakfast tray to me? Right away, Miss Radlover. I was hoping you would decide to eat something. I, I kept the coffee hot for you. Oh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Put it down here, please. Yes. Would you care for something, Alex? Just coffee, thank you. Black. Oh, want me to serve it? No, thank you. That will be all. Very well. I don't trust that woman. Vera, dear. Max hired her himself. You can be sure she was thoroughly investigated. Come on, now, eat something. My dear, dear Alex. My Aloysia. <laughs> <laughs> I feel better now you are here. A familiar face. That's what you needed. Yes, I'm so alone. I left everything to live in a world of strangers. And now I think perhaps I should not have done it. Oh, you're young. You'll make friends. Yes, I'm young. <laughs> but I will age. Oh, Alexis, I did not want to grow old, thinking how beautifully I could have danced certain roles. If only they would have let me. Mm. It is cruel to grow old. But you are free now. And wait until you see how the American audiences receive you. Once you step into that mysterious, 
Gray, blue light. Blue light. Our state set. For Lisi, it's magnificent. Oh, but we must not dance, Lisi. What? No, it is cursed. I was given the role because Renescova broke her ankle. And then Vladimir fell from that high ramp in Paris. Oh, and he will never dance again. The Paris set was dangerous. Lisi, Lisi is the river of Hades. And it has the curse of hell. You can't believe that. Oh. Oh. That must be that man. Oh, what is his name? Uh, publicity. Um, uh, David Marsh. Yes. I'm expecting him. Mr. Marsh. Good morning. Oh, hello, Alex. Morning, David. We're getting great TV coverage. They'll be here soon to set up the lights. Oh, and... no, no. How can I say so many strangers? I'll be right beside you. We kept the press away from you at the airport, Miss Radlova. It would be unwise to disappoint them again. Oh, well, of course. I understand. It's just I have had no sleep. Um, well, excuse me, please. I'll go and get ready to receive them. She looks tired. She's lost weight since I saw her last. I was shocked. She's put Max in a sweater. She refuses to dance Lethe. She told me. He wants you to use your influence. Get her to do it. I'll try, but I don't know. Suppose we all meet at his office and show her the set design. She's got the notion the whole communist world is after her. It's foolishness, of course. Is it? You don't believe it, do you? I don't know what to believe. The maid called Max early this morning. Seems there were menacing phone calls. Went on all night. Six of them. Well? Six calls from six different people and one a woman? <laughs> Hello, Miranda. This is David. Yes. Darling, I was hoping we could have dinner together, but I'd better stay right here on the job. She's going to pieces fast. I doubt if she'll be able to open. No, I'm in the hotel lobby. Now listen, sweetheart. She wants to move out of this hotel. Would you be willing to swap places with her? Yeah. I know your apartment's small, but I think she'd settle for it. Okay, then I'll suggest it to Max. Yes. Darling, of course I do. And Miranda... Don't get your hopes up, but I have a hunch our ballet season won't open with Rod Lover at all. I think it's going to be Cole and Miranda. What a mess. Those TV crews left behind. But it is almost worth going through these things for that moment, that uh, exquisite moment, when it's all over. <laughs> you handled it wonderfully. Mm. Uh, they loved you. Wait till you see the coverage tonight. A little peace and quiet is welcome. Should we... <laughs> I thought I heard somebody crying. I didn't hear anything. Neither did I. Like a child, crying. I... Probably a radio somewhere on this floor. Ah, uh, well, of course. Okay, I'll call for you at 4.30, and we'll go to Max's office. Ah, uh, good. I would like to get out of this place. I'm off to rehearsal now. I'll see you at the office. Rehearsal? Yes, the curtain raiser. The short comic ballet of my own. You're sure you're all right now? Yes. Oh, and thank you, Alexis. Thank you. Oh, yes. Now, listen. What was that? I did hear something. It's coming from Mary's room. Let's see. Mary? Mary? Uh, is the door locked? Oh, yes. The key is here somewhere. There is it. There, on the dresser. This is it? Yes. Where is she? On the floor, behind the bed. Let me see. Quick, where's the telephone? Help me get her onto the bed. There's no time. Well, Operator. Operator. Yes, yes, tape. Operator. What did she say? Operator, emergency. Get a doctor. Room 3814. Yes. Tell him we think someone's been poisoned. Open combat is one thing. Men have been known to stand their ground against overwhelming odds, confront the foe, and win. But it is quite another thing to join battle with an unknown assailant whose hand you never see, whose greatest weapon is the nameless fear he can inspire. We'll learn more about the battle between those striving to protect Vera Radlova and the forces that would destroy her when I return with Act Three. Murder will out, so they say. But 
Will the murderer? Probably not, if we are to believe the latest crime statistics. And of all assassins, the most furtive and hidden is the poisoner. A change has come over Vera Radlova in the past hour. She knows the unseen enemy to be one of her own small circle, and she has lost all faith in those who claim to be her protectors. As she accompanies David March into Max Bomer's office, she feels a desperate loneliness. The loneliness of the hunted. Max, there's something... Oh, good. Have. You're right on time. Max, the maid you hired, Mary White, we have bad news. She's been poisoned. Oh, good Lord. She's come from the hospital. How did it happen? We don't know. She couldn't uh, talk to us. The only thing, when we found her, she said something about tape. Oh, I thought she had pain. Now, Max, I think it's time we stopped fooling around and got a policewoman to stay here with Miss Radlova. I stated. Mary White was a detective. A detective? Yes, she was there to protect you. <laughs> How did you not tell me? Well, I did not want to alarm you. Instead, you frightened Miss Radlova half to death when this female detective came creeping around behind her. Well, this settles it. Miss Radlova, I'm going to tell you everything I know. Max has been getting menacing letters about you for a month. They even threatened to blow up the theater if you were to appear. Look, please, David. Max has done his best to protect you. Unfortunately, nobody thought of poison. Well, I did. I could never bring myself to eat in that hotel. I never want to go back there. Max, I have a suggestion. Why don't we move to Miranda's place? Do it secretly and do it now. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. Miranda? Uh, one of my star ballerinas. Uh, you see, that is her picture, that uh, poster on the wall. Of course, I have heard of her, Miranda Dadru. Soon to be Mrs. David March. <laughs> Congratulations. She's very beautiful. But that other poster there, it's a... That's it, Alexis, is it not? Yes, there's the Green Hornet. The Hornet? <laughs> Alex took an old-time radio show and made a rather amusing short ballet of it. He's an old-time radio buff. Buff? He has a large collection of old radio programs. Uh, on tape, of course, as a hobby. Max, is that clock on your desk right? Yes. 545. Well, if you don't need me, I'll be leaving. So soon? I want to arrange with Miranda about the apartment. Goodbye, Miss Radlow. Goodbye, and thank you. Huh. I wonder what got into him so suddenly. I don't understand. There's nothing. Now, my dear, let us talk about Leafy. Try to understand my position. The advertising is already out. The scenery is under construction. I cannot think of Lisey without remembering Vladimir. A terrible tragedy, I but... can never hear Lisey's music without hearing that scream of Vladimir as he fell. But such a thing could not happen here. That ramp in Paris was dangerous. We do not have a ramp. We have a series of platforms. Oh, no, I, I am doing everything in my power to ensure your happiness and safety. I appreciate that. It's just now, that I... Listen, I will be frank with you. You see, I... Well, I cannot recover my investment unless you appear, as you agreed, in the role of Lethe. Oh, I... I do not understand. Very well. I gave you my word. I will keep it. I will dance, Lethe. Max, quick! A bomb! I just learned about it. It'll go off any minute. Miss Radlova, this way, the elevator. Go up the elevator. The explosion might wreck it. Right. Uh, go to the emergency stairs. Alex! <laughs> Are you all right? Yes. My office is a shambles. Don't go in there. It might be dangerous. Oh, how fortunate that no one was hurt. Well, we can thank Alex. But, Alex, how did you know about the bomb? A letter. I'd been carrying it around with me all day, unopened. I left in a hurry this morning, picked up the mail on my way out and stuck it in my pocket. Forgot all about it until I opened it in a cab on my way here. First poison, not a bomb. My dear, I make you a solemn promise. From now on, you will have a bodyguard. Both the theater and your apartment will be searched every day. There will be no question of your absolute security. I, Max Boomer, guarantee it. Miss White? Mary? Hmm? Oh, oh yes, Mr. I'm David March. I work for Max Boomer. Oh, yes, I remember you. You brought me here. Do you know how you were poisoned? Oh, coffee. Only thing I had. When I removed Miss Radlova's tray, I, I, I 
poured myself a cup. When we found you, you said something about tape. Tape? I thought you said tape. Oh, oh, yes, yes, the telephone. I, I, I put a bug on it. Bug? I, I recorded those, those threatening telephone calls. Four of them. You recorded them? Yes, because they sounded funny somehow. You have the tapes? Yes, in, in my room at the hotel. You see, that they didn't sound like, like real people. I, I, I don't understand. Th- those voices, they... They never answered anything I said. Like, like they didn't hear me. And they never called Vera Radler by name. They, they said things like, like, you're going to die. You can't escape. Stuff like that. And, and one of them said, if you don't do as you're told, you are doomed. Doomed? That's kind of a funny word. You see what I mean? Yes, I do see. Well, I don't want to tire you. The doctor says you're going to be fine. Oh. It was a very small amount of poison. Yes, I know. And that's kind of funny, too. When you think about it. Hello, Max. Yes, David? I'm calling you from the theater. The street is full of people. Enormous crowd. Hoping to get a glimpse of Rod Lover. This is going to be the greatest opening night in our history. Are there enough police? Police? They're all over the place. Two patrol cars, mounties, the works. They went over the theater today with a fine-tooth comb. I put detectives at every entrance, too. It's a press agent's dream. Rod Lover hasn't arrived yet, but I'll bet there's a stampede when she does. And I won't be happy till the performance is over and she's safely back home. Uh, I'll be alone in my box. Join me. The one closest to the stage on the right. I, uh... Well, I guess we've done everything we could do. <sighs> it's in the lots of the gods now. <laughs> Hello? Miss Radlover? Yes? Who is this? A friend. Stay away from the theater tonight. What? Don't go to the theater. You will die if you do. How did you get this telephone number? Who are you? Never mind my name. Just listen to what I say. You cannot frighten me. (laughs) I'm not trying to frighten you. I'm trying to save your life. You must not dance Lethe. It will mean your death if you do. No, I know I will not listen. Miss Radloff. Who, who is it? Alex, are you ready? Oh, Alex. Come in. The limousine is wet. Vera, what on earth? Another is that? phone call. What? That's impossible. Oh, why should it be impossible? Well, nobody knows you're here. And Miranda's phone is unlisted. How could they possibly find you? Oh, you forget they have had 50 years' experience in such things. Vera, Vera, my dear, you're trembling. I, I'm not sure you should try to dance. She said I will die tonight. We'll, we'll tell Max you're ill. No. I will not give in. Your life is more important than any performance. Vera, please, let me call Max. No. Please, Vera. No, I defy them. Come. We will go to the theater, you and I. And we will dance, Lisi, together. David, where have you been? I watched the opening ballet from the back of the theater. A disaster. I have never seen Alex dance so badly. I guess the threats in the bombing got to him. Yes, and his wife has been riding him again. Uh, Sit down. I saw Grace outside at the stage door. She said Alex had forgotten something. She was bringing it back to him. Ah, that explains it. I try to think of everything, but I cannot protect my artists from their own families. Cheer up. It's Raglova's night. She's what the public came to see. Ah, yes. And they will not be disappointed. You know, David, at rehearsal, she was magnificent. Now, what you see as the curtain rises, Raglova is poised on the highest platform over on stage left. Alex comes on, leading the lost souls of Hades. But you'll see. Thanks. <laughs> 
in the wings. It's Grace Cole. You can see her from here. What is she doing there? The woman's crazy. I better go backstage. Why doesn't one of the stage crew... Oh, no. Oh, the drunken fool. She's walking on the stage. This is a nightmare. What's wrong with her? She's not wrong with her. She's falling from the platform. She's asking for you. Good. Oh, yes, thank you. Max, is is that you? Yes, Grace. Tell me. Uh, uh, don't don't try to move. Uh, is is Radlova all right? A few bruises, Grace. That's all. You saved her life. I tried to catch her. You succeeded in breaking Radlova's fall when Alex struck her. It's all my fault. Where is Alex? They've taken him away. Uh, I was jealous. I goaded him into it. I'm the one who should be punished, not Alex. You wrote the letters? No, no. He did that. And the poison. And the bomb. I, I didn't know anything about it until this afternoon. But, Grace, why did he warn us about the bomb? He didn't want to hurt you, Max. He wanted to frighten you. Make you send her back. Ah, he must be insane. No. I kept taunting him. He was getting old. That Rodlover would replace him as star of the Bomber Ballet. I, I thought he was in love with her. And I wanted to make him hate her, but I didn't want him to kill her. The telephone calls. The different voices. Oh, they, they were actors on tape. He took them off old radio programs he had. No wonder they never answered Mary's questions. Those voices had been recorded 30 years ago. May I come in? Oh, Miss Radlow. Now, don't try to move, oh. Grace. Lie still. Oh. oh, Mrs. Cole. What can I say? I am deeply grateful to you. But um, how did you know what Alex was going to do? Well, he... He got into a terrible rage today. He shouted at me, Shut up. I'll kill you, too. After he left, I thought, Kill me, too? Then I knew what it was he meant to do. Oh, he must be crazy. Oh, I, I should never have taunted him with growing old. It's hard for stars when they start slipping and younger people come along. It means the end of the only thing they ever really loved. And a dancer's life is such a short one. <laughs> Alex used to say, our names are, are written in water. It is true. Written in the waters of Lethe. So, not all the efforts of Max Bomer could protect Vera Radlova. In the end, her safety hung on the slim thread of another woman's conscience. Thanks to Grace Cole, she remained the pride of the Bomer Ballet for many years. Then one evening, in a box, watching a new production of Giselle, a lovely young American ballerina, precise, controlled, exquisite, pirouetted onto the scene. A shiver ran through the great Rodlova. She felt the icy waters of Lethe lapping at her feet. I'll be back shortly. Perhaps you are wondering what force would move an artist like Vera Rodlova, who had every material advantage, to leave her native country and seek freedom in a foreign land. Many dancers have done so. Markova, Nureyev, Parishnikov. Why? The cellist, Rostropovich, put it clearly. There is so much more I could have done for my country, he said, if they had only given me musical freedom without regulation. Many of these gifted people have found refuge among us, and in so doing, have enriched us. Our cast included Marion Seldes, Norman Rose, Bryna Rayburn, George Petrie, and Richard Lynch. The entire production was under the direction of Hyman Brown. And now, a preview of our next tale. The ship is waiting to sail. The ship is waiting for me. For me. Take me to the ship. And suddenly, he was dead. 
So since he wouldn't need it any longer, I searched his pockets for money. And I looked at the sheaf of documents in his coat. And you decided to become Mr. Alexander Burton. Who is empowered to collect one million dollars in gold from the Confederate government. <laughs> what did you do with Mr. Burton's body? Oh, for a few shillings you can always find some obliging gentleman. And the gold? I've discussed the matter with some of the crew who appeared sympathetic. The others will be convinced to join us one way or another. And so the ship will take on the gold. But it will not sail to England. No, I'm afraid not. This is E.G. Marshall inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time, pleasant dreams. WOR's Mystery Theater is also brought to you in part tonight by ShopRite Supermarkets, where you get a lot more for a little less. The preceding program was furnished by CBS Radio.